Moana 2 hit cinemas yesterday and it has opened the door for a full-on Moana franchise. Massive spoilers ahead for Moana 2 as today we're going to be discussing that ending with the tattoos as well as the post credit scene that sets up what Moana and Maui will be facing off in Moana 3. At the end of the film we see Moana get gifted by the ancestors a golden tattoo with her all being filled with the same pictures of the stars. Just like how Maui's hook lights up with blue and gives him his tattoo and powers, it looks like Moana is set to have the same treatment where her all will likely light up with gold and give her powers in the third film and make her a wayfinder who is one with the stars. But not just that, the film is suggesting that Moana is no longer human but that her death experience transformed her into a demigod like Maui. Now this is very important with the ending of Moana 2 and how this will affect the third film. The film ends with Moana finding other voyagers and humans from the other islands and bringing them back to Montanui, then setting out to find more so she can carry on her job as a demigod wayfinder. However, at the end of this film, there was one thing not sticking with me. What happened to that supposed villain that turned out to be a good guy but not really and had a really cool song get lost midway through? Because she's sort of just there and then isn't and is never really a true threat. And that is Matangi. Well, in the post credit scene, we learn that her and the return of the shiny turtle himself, Tomatoa, all work for the god Nalo, who prevented any humans from other islands ever finding each other, and was manifested in the real world as that big cloud storm that Moana and Maui fight off against. And in this post credit scene, it was sort of like a Thanos MCU moment, where Nalo was beginning to gather a team of villains to fight against Moana and Maui and get revenge. This third film will likely see Nalo set out his revenge against Moana and Maui to re-separate the humans and islands, and to defeat Moana for good. But now that Moana is a demi goddess, it'll be a much harder job. So it's likely this post credit scene is hinting that Moana 3 will deal the most with demigod territory rather than human territory, which we got in the first film. And we sort of got an insight into what this demigod territory will be like in Moana 2, especially when we first met Matangi and how she transformed into a bat. Either way, I'm so excited to see how Moana 3 is going to be set up with Nalo as this big overarching villain and how he is going to set out revenge now that Moana is a demigod. But what do you guys think about this? Did you enjoy Moana 2? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. And as always, we've been here on Gate of Theory. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.